Hello everyone, this is Carrie with Stampiphany, a great Stampin' Idea. Today I'm going to share with you a quick technique, one that I learned years and years ago, and that is the reptile skin technique. What you need is you need some paper towels and an ink pad. The paper towels that I uh, used were Bounty. That actually has the best texture for this technique. If you use a quilted one, that doesn't work as well. But find something that's got bumpies to it and it's got some good texture to it. So I'm taking an ink pad, this is always artichoke, and I'm going directly to my paper towel. And you can kind of see that paper towel start to soak up the ink off of the pad. And so take your time, um, it doesn't have to be super quick because you want to give the paper towel a chance to kind of grab onto that ink. And you're not going for totally even coverage here. You're just trying to get that ink into the paper towel. Once you get that done, you're going to take a spritzer. I just have one here that's a clean spritzer with just plain plain old water in it. And I'm going to spray that. Um, uh, the trick to it, in my case, is to make sure the nozzle is facing the right way. But anyway, once I got it going, you can see I just sprayed a couple times. And then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of help the ink spread out just a little bit. Again, trying to be careful that I don't get it even coverage because I want it kind of darker in some areas and lighter in other areas, but I am kind of spreading out the bumps a little bit so it isn't such an even pattern. So you can see here it's already starting to look like reptile skin, but reptile skin is also shiny, so we're going to take some uh, clear embossing powder and just sprinkle a little bit over the top there and spread around. Because the paper towel is still wet, that's going to stick to this. I learned this technique at a regional years and years ago from Carrie Cudney. She is amazing. Love her. And I just thought this technique was just so cool. And the other day I was I was thinking um, about techniques and this one popped into my head. I thought, oh, I haven't seen that done for a long time. So I was kind of excited to get the stuff out and, and give it a try. So once you have the embossing powder spread all over that, it's time to heat that up. I'm getting a clean piece of paper here to heat that up on. <clears throat> I will be careful because it's not like Versamark where it'll stick really super well. So what I do is I take a piece of paper and kind of bend it and then I'm going to put my paper towel on there and I'm going to kind of, I don't know, like cup it around the paper towel kind of like that. Um, it kind of keeps the blowing around of the embossing powder uh, to a minimum. It does still blow a little bit, but not near as bad. And you also want to make sure that before you take your heat tool to the paper towel that you get it good and hot. That'll also help it to melt quickly so it doesn't blow off before you get a chance to really get it melted. So you can see here it's starting to heat up. And I had practiced this, or I don't know if you want to say practice, but I was playing with it. Um, with white embossing powder. I'm sure you could do gold or silver or black and it kind of left a nice cool effect. So it kind of depends on what reptile you're trying to emulate or show here. So I would give it a try and see what you come up with. The white looked kind of cool. Um, this today I'm using is clear. So you know give it a try. It's fun to play in your office. I call it working because I'm working. I'm creating and working for my job because this is my job. But anyway, as you can see, it starts to heat. And it, the interesting thing is, is because of the crustiness of the embossing powder, it actually starts to feel a little bit like reptile skin. It's kind of gross. <laughs> but this is probably the only reptile skin I'm willing to actually touch. So I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to that. So anyway, once you get that all heated through, now it's ready to use on your projects. I'm showing you here kind of a little bit of the texture and the shine and how it kind of feels kind of cool. Kind of takes on a translucent look too with that paper towel since it's been wet. Let me show you a finished project. Uh, it's the one that was at the beginning of the video. I just have this little gift card envelope. It's been cut out of soft suede. And my little dinosaur, that is from our, our dinosaur set. I'll list everything in the description box. And of course I stamped happy birthday and wrapped that on there. Now that string is actually some of our burlap ribbon. And what I've done is just taken some burlap ribbon, uh, our thick stuff. We now carry some thinner stuff. This is the discontinued stuff. And I just trim that side off of there. I trimmed the other side off and then you just uh, yank one of the strings out and just pull that out and I happen to pull three of them out for this particular project. Once you pull it out it just acts like a piece of like twine really and you can just tie it around your project in a knot. I, I felt it worked really well to kind of keep with a rustic kind of like reptile 
safari. I don't know whatever you want to call it. But I really do like how this little gift card turned out. And so I hope you enjoy it. Why not give it a try? Post in the comments below what you think. Thanks a lot and have a great day.